All right, all right, all right. We got another episode of Breathing the Juice in Dallas. My boy Frank here letting me co-host. Love you, love the death, man. We're out here in Dallas. With my boy Bobby. First we gonna fuck, then we gonna fall, then we let it pop, don't let it go. No, say what's up, Bobby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Oh, Mike's out here getting his cherry popped. I love it, bro. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. You got you got. Uh, uh, Again, we were just talking about for the pod, bro. I need I need a juice box chain. My neck it feels sore because I keep I keep like slinging myself back. <laughs> I don't got enough ice on the on, on the neck itself. Uh, need a little bit of you know hit the weight room a couple of times so I can get, get get used to that juice box on the neck. Bobby, first of all, appreciate you having the patience to come out and yeah, support no bring problem. the juice. Real I appreciate quick. you for having me. Also, secondly, uh, we've had a long day and. Honestly, I'm most excited for this interview out of everything. The chemistry, the vibes, yeah. the energy, the juice. <laughs> right. We're in those right now. I, feel I, like. look, I was I was bragging about you last yeah, week. Yeah, he was talking his shit. He, here, he was, was talking like, his when, shit. When will Bobby come there, you're going to shut it down. He oh, said, yeah, he, was like, sure. he was like, yeah, you know, Bobby, he's having a barbecue next week. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, ah, that's my kind of guy. I like guys who host oh, barbecues, yeah. bro. Are you, are you a big hoster? I wouldn't. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. It's just... Uh, so the reason he brought up the barbecue is because it's something I like to do for uh, my people. Yeah. Every year. And, uh, you take care of your people. Yeah. That's, you know yeah. What I'm I like that's, that. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So going from, let's just backtrack right now. You got a ring, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Big flex. Let's, let's talk about it real quick, <laughs> bro. Flex. So you know uh, Juju Hughes? Yes. Yeah, I do. That's, that's my guy. Dog. That's yeah, our guy. That's, my, that's, that's yeah. my that's my roommate. Two years. Oh, for real? That's my mm-hmm. guy. Bro, I didn't even know that. That's yeah, small you know world. Shit, nah, that's my guy. Small I know world, that. man. I know yeah, that good dude. dude, though. Good dude. But bro. he know I, I beat him up though on a regular. <laughs> <laughs> he know what hey, it is when he see me. Tell me though. the toothpick shit though is not out of hand. It's crazy. Oh no, he that's that's him. That's part of him. No, we know. Also, also, no homo, but like he's got some really white teeth. We can't see that. We already have. No, but the dude's got some white. How does he not have a toothpaste deal at this point? He ain't the right people, man. Yeah. Mark ain't the right people. Yeah, right. Mike's going from a fucking psychological standpoint on this <laughs> whole thing. So, we, so we, we, you talk about the party, the block party, putting on for people. Right. Talk about Feed the Family. Yeah, yeah. yeah talk oh, about okay, that. so that's that's just my little brand I got started, you know, um, as you can see in the hat. Yes, please. Yeah. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Were you looking at the camera real quick on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. zoom in. All right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So Feed yeah, it's just um, you know, some I'm trying to another project that I'm trying to put together with um a few of my friends I grew up with. Okay. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like I say, the goal is to you know take care of your people. Absolutely. In any way, shape, or form that is, where it's mental, <laughs> physical, or emotional. You know what I'm saying? So right. we all going through some, and it's always good to just have somebody to lean on. You know. Hundred percent. Bobby, I mean, you talking about that? That's it's one thing we talk about bringing the juice. Um, guys could get as vulnerable as they want on this but like the game of football is an emotional game bro Indeed. it takes a lot to get to this point uh it takes a lot to get out of high school point fuck man i mean there's, there's a lot of shit that goes into that it's a business there's yeah. there's people that are coming after you good bad and ugly everyone has their experiences you i mean you're you're in the league you're established you have a super bowl ring bro which we're gonna really dive into but why do you why do you wake up every morning and and, and chase greatness um, it's just for me personally, I wake up with like the idea of putting my people on. Like that's that's why I started this brand. That's why right. I, I try to put it in people's faces to see, yes, to understand my mission and my goal. Because it's like, like I've lived a cool life already. You know, of what course, I'm saying? bro. And, you know, we are gonna keep it going. We are gonna keep it rolling. But it's like I want my mom and my dad to be able to see some of the things that right. you know this brings into this life. Like. Eventually, like one of my goals is to retire my parents, which hopefully I can do that you know, real, really real. soon. That way, they what can go and have, yeah. they can go and live life. Because you know, growing up, you know, we were struggling a little bit. Yeah, and um, you know, I don't really know the full details just because I was living in my own world, trying to chase this game. You know, this dream. Yeah, chase the dream. <clears throat> and um, so you know, a lot of times I just watch my parents just struggle. And, right. And, now I just want to see them just kicking their feet up happy, you know, because they've been working absolutely since before even I was. You don't alive, even know, you know right? Saying? Right, and and it's always been you know living paycheck to paycheck, and it's I want to I want to change that gap that cycle, yeah. So okay. feed the family itself. It, I mean, I'm sure you guys have a, a a legit mission statement, but like, what what is the end game top goal you can do? Really, just like 
do so, you know, give back to the community right. at the end of the day. Cause and you're a Texas man. Yeah, and I'm, right. and I'm really a family man. Like, I'm really a family yes, sir. man. Like, Absolutely. Anybody I consider my family, whether it's my friends I grew up with or even blood-related family, like, they know if you part of my group, part of my people, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to always do what I have to do to take care of you. So there's this whole feed the family. You're trying to grow your circle. Elevate yourself because obviously you're doing that from the athletic version. But you, but with athletics comes this platform, right? And look, some guys take advantage of it and 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 grow it. Shit, we were talking shit on Baby Gronk today. Not talking shit, but we were talking. We interviewed Baby Gronk today. We were discussing the situation. Say what you want. The the dude is growing his brand. Yeah, indeed. Mm-hmm. And, and and say whether it's in a positive. Uh, I think it is in a positive outlook if it's a father and a son and they're trying to grow. Say what you want. Are they are they really like getting after it? Yes. And we'll leave that aside. But at the end of the day, like they are trying to elevate each other. Like this dad is trying to help his son just set him up for success. And we we mentioned like Levar Ball earlier today with the with the with the, the Ball brothers. Like, bro, people didn't like the the dad for a period of time. He thought he was a you know like. I don't want to say cocky or, or 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 out of pocket, but like, dude, he's got three sons that play in the league. Like, by division, by division, it's true. I it, it basically all I'm getting at, Bobby, is for you to understand you have this platform and you have the ability to make a difference off of that, and and you use it in a positive light, which will help the people around you grow and succeed. That takes a sense of maturity. I mean, that's that's respect to you, bro. Yeah, that's and like you pretty much laid out the blueprint that's all i'm right. trying to do elevate those that i love around me right so we can all kind of live this life the way we want to live and we right. don't have to yeah. just work for somebody and have to do this have to do something we don't love just to survive you know what i'm saying it's, you're taking care of the neighborhood bro yeah yeah damn we, near we touched on it earlier um you know the block party the barbecue through block party i brought my family and i brought my girl i brought my baby you know we went out there we showed love support um I mean, just to, we were out there. I'm, my girls out there saying, "Oh, babe, who's that?" I'm, I'm like, "Oh, that's Kyle Murray." Like, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. it's it's family out here, and yeah. that's the one thing that, like, you know, when, when I came out to, when I moved out here to Texas, like, Texas is known for football. Like, this is a football place. Yep. And so we, we're I'm at this block party with my son. He's running around the playground and stuff like that. I'm like, "What the hell is like, Kyle Murray right there?" And <laughs> I didn't know that y'all two were like, you know, like really plugged in like that. So like, yeah. take us through that. Like, what what relation? How that relationship started? Like, um, it started in high school because we uh we the same class. Okay. And uh, you played at Allen together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played at Allen together in Oklahoma. But uh, he uh, oh shit mm-hmm. yeah both yeah I've been playing with him for a while <laughs> yeah so uh but yeah he uh he started his sophomore year um. I'm not sure which game it was. I can't remember. But this high school. Yeah, this high school. At some point during the season. Little Kyler. Yeah. <laughs> but he was. As soon as he hit that field, he became big. Well, Kyler. Up, big Kyler, real Man, quick. Real, real quick. quick. Right. Cause, uh, but I ain't, I ain't get up to varsity um, my sophomore year until the playoffs. Okay. Because they asked some of the younger guys to come up, you know, help right, them right. finish that run and stuff like that. And I came in. I was just a little blocking tight end and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was out there making a name for myself. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Got me scholarships and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, Damn. Um, I made the transition to O line and I started blocking for him and stuff like that. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I want to touch on. So one of our good friends, uh, James Bailey. He he played at Lake Travis. He was my roommate for four years at Fresno State. Dog. And when he came in, he started as a true, which all American. With true. At, at the time, and, and I mean, you know as well as anything, Bobby, like. If you come into any college football territory and you're starting as a true, like, bro, you got some shit to you. Indeed. Automatically. Indeed. Automatically. And Lake Travis, like, his fun fact, uh, we had a few things in common. We like to uh, drink beers. <laughs> um, I'll leave it at that. But he was like, yo, yeah, man, I mean, uh, Baker Mayfield was my, he was my high school quarterback. And I'm like, oh, you know, that's, that's better than my high school quarterback. <laughs> like, but, like, we were talking and I, and I really wasn't open to the idea of texas high school football yeah um and you went to allen which when you google crazy ass high school football games yeah. allen's the first one that pops yeah, up that makes let's sense. talk allen texas football right now bobby give it to me so i mean that's the cream of the crop you feel me like it's different it's, it's way it's different him. Yeah. It's, it's definitely him um because when we was growing up a lot of people was mad because they were thinking we were getting transfers in and blah, blah, blah. But it was like, if you really go back and look at the teams I played with, a lot of them kids was actually local in Allen. 
Yeah, right. a lot, a, like, like a lot of us played football at a young age, and kind of like by the time we got to high school, our level of knowledge in the game and experience and stuff. When you combine all those kids into one high school, of course right. we're gonna be dominant. Like we've been doing this for a, a long time. Ooh, at so, 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 but when you say we've been doing this a long time, so like when did you start playing football? I started second grade. So is that same offense from second grade through high school when you're in the Allen program? Nah. <laughs> no, 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 it's different. <laughs> nah, it's different. Nah, nah. nah, so little league football, was little league football. That's right, right. some bullshit. Thing. Let's go win. Yeah, I mean, we was out there. We was out there still hooping, serving. Like, we serving was out there up. still serving. I mean, not my like my first team that I played on was the Texans. We weren't that good, but like I made so <laughs> many, I made so many good friends on that team. Right, and then we kind of like changed our identity, went to the Titans. And when we, when we became the Titans- This is some little league shit. This some li that's when we was really out there like beating people. Like we was out there winning. <laughs> we was out there but winning. But see, that's that's one thing that I want to touch on though, because you said to feed the family, that's the brand, that's everything you want to give back. I mean, it's a it's a family community. I mean, for like, I mean, come on now, like obviously we both play in the league. Kyler Murray's Kyler Murray. You know what I'm right. saying? And for him to show to a block party, like, Right, you know what I'm saying? Like that, it just speaks volumes. Shows a sense like, of loyalty, bro. It, like the community, like it's this is a real community right. organization. Like I mean, this place I want to grow my son up. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a place like uh, when I, so when I seen that, I was like, okay, like they're for real. Like this is this is real family ties here. Yeah, bro. Because I'm saying like we all done like even in that football program, we done been through some yeah adversity in that program. Right. People hate us. Like mm -hmm. you got to talk it on your back. We found a, we got it always, so always, always. Got How many like, people in that stadium? Um. How many did it hold? I don't want to lie and say the wrong number. Yeah, it was, we throw something it, out there. It's good. It's it good. Thousand. It's good. It's a couple thousand. It's more than that. For high school, it, but it might. Have, I want to. I want to say it's biggest in the country. High school. I want to say eighteen. I want to say eighteen thousand. I want to say. If we, had, if we had if we had eighteen hundred on a rival night. <laughs> I'm I'm back there. Oh yeah. Swagging, Mike. <laughs> Swagging. Tower. Ha ha. White boy. Ha. -ha. Nah, that's that that's white, nice though. That's that wild. Nice. So take us through the recruitment. Going to OU, all that. Like, what what made you go there? What made you like choose that over other uh, places? So, um, my dad actually played basketball in uh, Oklahoma in '95. Okay, oh, so, legacy then. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to Oklahoma. I always watched their football growing up, Boomer and their basketball. Baby. Yeah, and so um, once me and my older brother got offers there, we I committed early, like sophomore so, year. Your brother went there too. Yeah, my older brother. You played with okay, your brother so in college football, legacy, baby, but so the thing is, I didn't get to play with him that long. Cause he had too many concussions, so he had to mm. retire. Damn. Yeah. Was he? What, he was O line. He was a linebacker. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, that boy, him. If he would have, if he would have kept playing, like that guy, he was nice. My brother was nice. Oh, that was somebody I always looked up to when we was growing up. What's the age difference? A year. Oh. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, so you're, you're, yeah. so you're so best like, friends. Yeah, that's my. Yeah. So you guys fine. both got the offers, like. At the same same time. Time. Okay. Yeah. yeah there you yeah. go. Okay. Damn, bro. We, so, oh, you, like we, your dad played there. I mean, what what made you choose football instead of basketball? Then I mean, um, you're a big dude. You can play basketball. <laughs> yeah, but like the position I was playing in basketball, you can't be six four, six five, play trying center. to play center. You can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Yeah. I mean, Charles Barkley. I mean, what was he? Different time. Different time. Different time. Different time. Yeah. Very true. Because now they making aliens. Now them boys like, seven foot doing windmill three sixties and shit. Man. Free throw line dunks in high school. It's ridiculous. Fuck what? McDonald's is in here at six eight, bro. He's like, yeah, I'm short for the NBA. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he he could probably make some plays though. He's six eight. No, Donald, I, I seen Donald on the little sports academy hoop. He hoop. Oh, he hoop. He hoop. I'm gonna so, have to check him out. He can hoop. The hips. Yeah, no, but just like that's dope though. I mean, you just so like you knew like oh, you's where I want to go. Yeah, always. Well, so when other sure. when other schools came and gave you the offer, was it just like uh -huh. I'm like, looking or like? So there was other schools like uh, Ole Miss, like. Arkansas, Texas, Baylor, uh, A and M. Like it was like I was getting offers. I was, yeah, I was a four star. Okay, I didn't go to no camp. humble brag. Humble brag. No, like I didn't go to. No, <laughs> I don't know how I became a four star. I didn't go to any camps or nothing like that. Like, cause that's what I started to realize. Young, right. like people started going to them. Uh, what you call them? The rivals camp? and yeah, all that them, shit. All yeah, them type yeah. of camps to yeah. get their stars up. And I was right. like, is that what y'all? I'm not yeah. doing that. So I never, never went. But to being a Texas guy, I mean, I I know that a lot of Oklahoma's team is from Texas and and all that shit. But like, did you ever have any? Did did the, did the thought ever cross your mind? Like, hey, I I'm I'm a Texas man. I want to stay in Texas. I ain't like, gonna lie. Talk to I me. Almost, Talk to me, Bobby. No, nah, I almost oh, committed you to canceled. UT. Love, huh? get canceled. I almost committed to UT. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. But, but the only reason I didn't is because they didn't offer my brother. 
Oh, package oh, deal. So you went like you're like deal. I'm going with my brother. I'm going with my brother. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. But regardless, I knew I was gonna make a name for myself. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Let's just go somewhere together. Yeah, but it's that man. loyalty, yeah. bro. I'm sorry, that burnt orange. It's so sexy. Ew. Oh, that was my nah. dream. I ain't gonna lie, man. I look, I know nah, you. Oh, you. Nah. That was my dream school. Hey, bro, that was that was my you shit. See? My dream school, bro. Like, really? My shit I mean, was Notre Texas. Dame, Texas, and, and, and Fresno State. It just That's to me, I like, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, bro. Like they just like you know linebacker. Over, I'm thinking like it's just big time. I can see for football. linebackers. I yeah, can definitely it's just big time football. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just thought I on my see. skin tone, the all white with the burnt orange as a white boy slot would be. Really <laughs> awesome, I love that. So, how goes through your years at UT? I mean, obviously, Kyle was he your quarterback the whole time? No, I, I played for Baker for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, so wait, yeah. did you have, you had Baker and Kyler? You never had Jalen, though, right? No, I, I was gone by the okay. time. You had okay. some good company, I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good and you guys won, I mean, you guys, you won a ring every year then? Uh, Conference, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were with, uh, shit, what's his name? <sighs> Caleb. Kelly. Caleb, Caleb Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, he's yeah. from our home. He's from my hometown. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, we used to play against my yeah, high school. Nah, Caleb a good dude though. Yeah. Yeah, he's still there. Um, he's coaching and shit. Yeah, now, right? yeah, yeah. He's doing yeah, something. Yeah. He's more involved. Stuff. I mean, OU. I have a cousin who she's graduating in, uh, you know, whatever, a couple weeks, and she's she's about to, she, she OU. She's like all in, bro. She's going. Yeah. She's about to so- sooner boomer, and I was like, I'll come visit, do your thing. I don't know, but do your thing. And uh, it, it, it seems lit, though, bro. And she's like, she's already talking like sororities and shit. I'm just like, hey. Now, don't sleep. People think like Oklahoma is like just this place where it's like there's nothing. And, I don't, I don't which, think Which, don't get all. me wrong. Like, Oklahoma is still Oklahoma at the end of sure. the day. They yeah, developing. They, they developing. You know what I'm saying? But Norman itself in Oklahoma, you can have you a good time. Do you fly into Norman? Uh, I drive. Yeah, from right. from here? Yeah, from here. How far is that? About three hours. Yeah, it's what? Hours. It's not bad, bro. Like, I know a lot of people who live that's, here who go to like Thunder that's, Games. That's like, literally why yeah. a lot of people from Texas go to Oklahoma. <clears throat> yeah, so it's far enough away from home, but not too far right. away from home. You feel me? So you still. So Bobby, I mean, you you have your time at OU. You guys win some big games. You're part of some great moments in Oklahoma history. You have some NFL quarterbacks along the way. You got to play with your bro for a little bit. That's awesome. You end up as a third round draft pick. Talk to me about that transition. Oh man! Talk to me about talk to me about that build up. So that build up itself is as as Mike can probably. Yep. It's one of the most stressful times of your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's like it's not sweet. What do you think you were going? Um. Because people I really, chirp. I really thought I would have been in like uh, with the Panthers or like the Dolphins. But what round though? I don't know what round, to be honest. I okay. Was, it, I was kind of like a guessing game for me in a way. Was like, there a chance where you're like, maybe first, maybe fifth? Yeah, because yeah. like in the first round, a lot of big names kind of started going. So, so it's you're like, like maybe, maybe I, I hit like 28, that's 29. Maybe I, can, maybe I can hit that second mm-hmm. round, something like that. And then the third round kind of started going. I'm like, maybe I hit the fourth round. <laughs> did, you do a, did you do a draft party or is it like? Nah, because okay. see, see, like. The only reason I didn't is because I knew I wasn't going first round, which, right. you know, I wish I could have. But at the end of the day, like, everything happens for a reason, whatever. Right. Yeah. But um, I wanted to throw a party afterwards just to make sure I lock, make sure, make sure I get in. locked in. Something to party. Yeah, yeah. 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 You feel me? Because, like, I didn't want to be one of them types to throw a party and then, like, just ruin the party for everybody because I'm sad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and I no, no, that, no, shots, no shots at nobody no, that's no, been no, through no. that, but mm-hmm. I, because of those people that went through that, I didn't want to go through that. And you I, see didn't wanna, it. I, didn't no, I mean, like, the, I mean, but you're like, dude, go on day two, day one, day two. That's a big deal. Like, yeah, I was a, a day three deal. guy. I went day three. Um, I mean, just to not even have to turn it on. Like, obviously, you might turn it on to see your people if they get picked up or something like that, but like, you're set. Like, you're already picked up. Like, what, like, what goes through your head? Because me, like, the draft in California on day three is 9 a.m. in the morning. So I luckily Ooh. I was blessed to get drafted. We early. was younger shit at 10, 15. I, I'm t- <laughs> like, I, I, I probably got drafted around like 10, 10, 15, 10, 20 yeah. a.m. We were gone by 10, 45. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> not, like, Julio, yeah. Julio. Two, Shout out to Keyshawn Johnson. Julio, yeah. for all the draftees. Yeah. Like day two, you're done. Like you're set. You got drafted. Like what? what's what's that mindset like for you? Uh, just get prepared to transition everything. Because yeah. at that point, like, so what I like to tell guys coming out of college is like that's that push off the cliff. Yeah. You either gonna fly <laughs> or you gonna sink. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of times you'll see a lot of guys will sink because it's a lot they get thrown they, they get thrown at Too you much. At once. It's like, ooh, 
I got to learn about taxes. I got to learn about bro pay stubs and paychecks. I got to learn about and you and you got drafted to Cali, so now you're learning yeah, about right. What the, right. Why the fuck is this right. shit happening, bro? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's a robbery, right man. There. They, <laughs> they taking it every time too. Mm-hmm. It's like man, ain't no ain't no little window for. Hey, I mean, let's 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 talk it. about that taxes thing real quick. I mean, I've I've said it on the pod before, bro, but like. It is bizarre to me. I don't know the Texas education system. I know Fresno's. I know a little bit of Cali's. But I'm saying this. How is it that there is not a single class? Let's say we're seniors, okay? In high school, second semester, first semester, whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. You just learn about the... I'm talking the like clean cut, basics, no details of how you get taxed, what they even are, how you pay them, what the percentage is, property tax, income tax. There's barely those in college. Accounting. Like, you know, they accounting. Don't none of that, fam. Yeah. Uh, right, what a write-off is. Like, right. All this, sh- like, there's so much <laughs> shit out there and I got to go read fucking Rich Dad, Poor Dad or some right. shit oh, to, like, <laughs> to like learn my shit. Yeah. I started this shit. But when, I was in bring, when I started bringing the juice, I went to a dark ass hole, bro. I'm yeah, talking yeah. like a rabbit's hole where I'm audio booking like, bro, I didn't make some bread, bro. Yep. <sighs> yep. What am I going to do? Right. And I'm, li- I'm, I'm listening to these audio books. I'm, I'm driving like 300 miles a day. And I'm thinking to myself like, bro, how the fuck do I... Also, I at this point, and, and no disrespect to Fresno State, I took accounting, I took these things. Yeah, yeah. But you it. can't, and I, I have my agricultural business degree. Like I'm, I know my shit. Yeah. But it's like, bro, like why can't somebody? And, and I and I hate saying this, but why can't someone just put the fourth grade version, clean cut, color coded? Listen, buddy. In high school, this yeah, is what you need to do. Yeah. Hey, get ready for this, buddy boy. Right. And it's like. Dude, they don't learn it until you're dropped into the system and you start making bread. And I'm sure, Bobby, you have some mentor in your life that said, hey, listen, you got to save this money because you're going to pay $100,000 on yeah. taxes next year. Yep. And you're thinking to yourself, I'm thinking of my shit. Like, what, bro? Like, it, man. if I have to pay $300 for fucking some, you know, late rent, I'm pissed. Like, yeah. I know it's in the thousands just to the state, to the government. Like, it is a wake up call, yeah, and indeed. I don't know how it is. There is not a mandated class course, whatever you want to call it, called uh, being a human or uh, American livelihood, like whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> Where it just it teaches you this shit, bro. Yeah, because it's like that's uh, that's what I feel like. That's what a lot of these athletes are missing, because I think a lot of times us being, you know. In those games and stuff, we kind of miss out on a lot of reality because sports in general is its own little world. Mm-hmm. And God damn. and when you when you're in that world, you kind of stuck in that world. Yeah. You don't really see what's going on. It's its own category. Of that. So once you kind of hit the real world, it's kind of like a culture shock. It's like, oh, shit, I don't know what's going Dude, on. Dude, I want to know, like, just fast forward and everything. You get you get drafted. You're playing for the Rams. What is it like when I watch what O linemen do? It's different. Like I mean, practice ends and you you just started. Like the practice for you O linemen is different. Like yeah. talk me through that. Like you're drafted for third round. You're probably thinking I'm coming in here. I'm probably gonna start right away. Like well, well, what was going through your mindset when you got drafted? You get to first training camp. Well, I knew that I was gonna have to come in and try to prove something, man, mm-hmm. or at least be ready for whatever. Because yeah. in this business, as you know, you never know when your turn. When it's your turn to actually. Get out there and go prove yourself. And Hell yeah. Mine happened um, in the middle of the season when we had a bunch of people go down just left and right. Like, right. It wasn't like crazy like how it was this past year, <clears throat> but my rookie year we had a few people go down, so eventually I had to go out there and play right tackle. Mm-hmm. And I was low-key holding it down. Yeah, holding it down. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's crazy how like – And you had some vets in that room too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some vets in that room. So like – the expectation is just the standards high. It's way up there, right? Like I know you went to OU, so you played against some like really big time talent. But like, talk to me about the first time you went against a, a Miles Garrett, or yeah, a, a, uh, you know, to Khalil Mack, like something uh, crazy like that. Um, well, I, I done seen some people in college too because I went against. Yeah, so, yeah see, we saw um like uh, Ohio State. They had the Bosa. Bosa yeah, and, uh, was Chase Young? Was he there? You said Jermon Jones? Chase, no, Chase, Chase Young. Young. Ohio Chase, State. Chase Young. Washington Commanders. Was, was he there? 
No, I don't think he was there yet. Okay. But they had some they had a really good D line and like we low key had to be on our game. But luckily I had a great coach in Oklahoma. Yeah. Like Coach Beatenbo, shout out to that man though. He real, but he gonna get on you about some like, he gonna make a man <laughs> out of you, you hear me? So when it comes to like the football aspect, like Coach B prepared us pretty so well. You were good. Like you've yeah. been there. Like, I mean like, like did you ever have a like holy shit like moment like I'm in the league, holy shit, like I'm playing against this dude. Like, yeah, because my first start <laughs> in the league was against Khalil Mack. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's what I was getting at. Okay. So, let's get yeah, into it. You know let's get into it, Bobby. Like, I was, you held your own. You yeah. were like, holy shit, like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my like, own against Khalil Mack. I was like, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get out there and just throw your hands, bro. Just throw them up. Huh? Just don't even, don't even give up. Just keep going. Like, mm -hmm. I felt so good after that game, though. Yeah. I mean, I was getting a little help here and there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's just mm. everybody. Got but, to, cool, but like, <laughs> yeah, right. But at the end of the day, like, I still held my own, and that was just one of them moments where it just, I was like, man, okay, I can do this. That was, yeah, that was your moment. Where like, I, I got this. Yeah, like, it clicked. I, I, like, I, I, I'm, yeah. I belong here. Yep. Bobby, the league's such a business. And we've talked to guys about being the more of an asset you could be to a company, which a company in the NFL is a team, you're more likely to be part of that roster. Have you made yourself accessible as an offensive lineman to be able to be like, hey, yo, if I needed to, I'm center, I'm guard, I'm tackle, I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Or are you like, yo, this is what I do? Yeah, no, I mean, at this point, I got thrown all over the place, right. uh, especially being in L.A. Like, I played guard. Played right tackle. Um, I played a little bit of left tackle, surprisingly. <laughs> but like it's and that and it's been as you never know. So I would say as an old lineman, you have to be prepared to play any position. Mm -hmm. Which nowadays that's the wave. Right. It has to like, be. It has to be. Unless you're uh like a Trent Williams type dude where you're like, yo. Which I mean, know. even then you never really know. Right. You never really know if they'll never need to throw him at guard. How how different is and and I'm just thinking this like from an Andy Ward perspective. So Andy Ward, he was our strength conditioning coach at Fresno State. He was at Stanford for a long period of time and Stanford's got some nutty shit. One and Beecher was there at the time and like they would do more reps depending on what side of the O line you were per leg, essentially, to like build up certain stamina's. So if I'm kick stepping on a right leg, if I'm right tackle versus left tackle, how do you feel awkward one or the other? Yeah, I, yeah, I like I was feeling a little awkward on the left just because okay, I yeah. played right for so long. So it's like you just you know how that feels yeah, versus you know, you know exactly how that feels. I know what a good set feels like, a bad set. But left, I was just kind of out there like, oh, <laughs> now let me just get throw back, man, yeah, man. Let me just get back <laughs> real quick. But that's where. Like he said, when practice ends, that's when you kind of begin right. to work on the things that mm -hmm. you work on, like flipping your hips and stuff like that. Because you got to be an athlete as an O lineman, you got to be able to play anywhere. Yeah, now, bro, center. I ain't gonna lie, that's a whole different ball game. Though. <laughs> I don't right, know about right, that right. center, but I'll tell you. But people don't understand, like offensive linemen are probably one of the most athletic people on the field. Like, like, like on no field? bullshit. Like on earth. On, like you know what I'm saying? Like, on it's, earth. It's right. like you know yeah. you want to think wide receiver running back, but like well, people O linemen don't rotate. You're not <laughs> subbing as an old lineman. You could be out there for 15 plays straight. straight. You're not coming out. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you did if, you, if you're a number two old lineman, like, you're not playing. You're not you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. Like, you're a scout team guy. Yeah. Like, yep. that is what people understand. Like, old lineman is like, I got the biggest respect for them because I watch them all day. Before practice starts, they're out there. After yep. practice starts, they're out there. Yep. Meetings, they're out on the field. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, old hey, and we've had old linemen on, like, Bro, it's the ultimate position. It's the ultimate scenario in sports where you don't get your name called unless you fuck up. Unless you get a flag or something or a sack or something. It's now, granted, if you if you pancake a dude and a guy scores a touchdown, check out this right guard here. And he, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's opens up the hole. Shout out other it's, it's like, it's like <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's, right. it's a unique scenario yeah, right. where shit happens. Only right. time a lineman, only time the lineman gets shot out is by another lineman. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, exactly. Bobby, we, we, we said it earlier in the pod. You got the ring. Our boy Juju has the ring. Yeah. Talk to me about the ring. Talk to me about the 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 journey of that year and how it went and how it finished in the, in the moment. Well, really, it was just a crazy year, man. Because we and, had and a, you won that shit early in your career, bro. Because which I'm thank thank God I'm blessed, but <clears throat> like we had a point during the season where we lost three games in a row, and people just kind of were just. On and, our heads, and they was right. like, like Rams, sir, Rams, this, Rams, that, blah, blah, blah. Like, <clears throat> but Coach McVay kind of told us, like, that's just the outside speaking. Like, we need to keep it tight. We need to stick together. And right. 
And that's exactly what block out that outside boys, noise. Man, that's exactly what we went out there and did. Them boys, they was out there doing their thing right. for that last run. Even like when it got close um, with San Fran, like it was that was a scary game. We had a couple scary games, even with uh, against Tom Brady and them in the Bucks. Cooper Cup had that sixty yard bomb. We ran down there and got the game winning field goal. Like that's my, it was, my guy. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it's, and then like to just finish out on top, it was just. I don't know, man. It was like, it was like a long year, but a short year all in one. Yeah, it was just long because, you know, that with the new changes with the preseason games and then the playoff games and stuff. Like, it was just so much football. Yeah, that it was just like, man, it's February. We still playing football, dude. Like crazy. Like I so you know, every year we get tickets to go to Super Bowl. Me and my twin brother, we've been talking about Super Bowl since we were like fourth grade. Mm-hmm. So that game, me and my brother were in the stands. Like I took my twin brother That's to right. the game. We're in the stands. I mean. Atmosphere. We're sitting next to nothing but Rams fans. Like atmosphere is crazy. crazy. I'm, talking about, I'm, I'm talking about real Rams. I'm, you know, they got the little mascot little boys on. <laughs> they got the they painted blue. Like, and and so my my twin brother, he is getting his PhD. You know, I'm so and so. He's broke as hell. Like, you know, getting his PhD, getting all that shit. This dude put like <clears throat> seven grand down that Odell Beckham must score the first touchdown. Like, I'm like, I'm sitting. He's telling me, you guys are like on the. It's like the forty or the thirty. Going in, scores zero to zero or three, three to zero, and he's like, "Mike, I just like, hey, I put seven grand. Odell Beckham scores scores first touchdown. I'm like, what the? I'm cussing him out. Like, what the fuck you doing? Like, yeah. dude, like it's gonna be. You cool. gonna, like, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking like, damn, it's my money. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like I'm gonna be bro, Odell Beckham scores. He runs a little yeah. wheel route, bro. Scores a touchdown, and we would have thought we won right there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, we're going yeah. crazy. But I'm yeah. saying like, just like being, because you know, we played in the league, we never. When's the last time you got to go to a football game? Like right. to actually sit that's, in the stands. And sit never in the happens, that's bro. We're sitting there in, in the fib, like in the stands. We're you know we're getting beers, we're getting drink, you know, getting food and stuff like yeah. that. Just being a fan. Yeah. yeah. And it was like hundred bucks chicken bro, It was like the most like lit experience I've ever had. Being at someone else's stadium, being in the stands with him, and when Odell kept that ball, like we were just fucking. Lit. That was <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> that's crazy. So winning the Super Bowl itself. Let's 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 just talk like okay, hey, we're in it. Uh, I mean, I I'm just thinking from a, a bowl game perspective. Like, that's a long fucking football season. You said you yeah. said it just now. It, yeah. you're, it's February and we have a competitive game to play. Yeah. and it's the big one. It's the big. <laughs> it's it's the one. You yeah. got the little. You got the shit on your shoulder, yeah. like like on the chest. Yeah. So all you right. you so all right. You guys win. You're going to the Super Bowl. Let's talk about like the the first team meeting. Once you know you're in the Super Bowl and that and just how it progressed. Winning the game, holding that shit, bro. Straight to business. In yeah, that first yeah. meeting. It's straight business. Like right, like we was in there. Week twenty three. Let's yeah, go, baby. Hey, we here. We the home team is in L A. Crazy. Got to Like the atmosphere couldn't be more be lit. Nuts. Like this. What more? Could what else you, you want? want? What else mm-hmm. do you want? This is the perfect scenario. We got to go out here and just execute. God damn. All right. So y'all, y'all pull away. You win the game. Time runs out. What happens? Confetti. <laughs> Confetti. How's man. the emotions? All over the place. J- happiness, tears, all happiness, that shit. Happiness, tears, like long season. Like my parents got to see this. Relief. My girl and her par- her mom got to see this. My brothers was here. They girls like all my all my immediate family was there. Right. Yeah. So they it, it, the only part that I didn't like is we could only bring two of them people down on the field with us. Okay. Uh, can't bring the whole squad. Can't, can't bring, the whole, bring the whole fam. And what what's it like having someone like Aaron Donald? Like Bro, it's man, you can say whatever you want about A D, but his work ethic, I've never seen it. Never seen it. Like bro. he he's he's the one knife of those, thing? like I, I don't know him personally. I just look from afar. But I know for a fact I play middle linebacker. You know, middle linebacker, you tell everybody else what to do. He tells me what to do. Okay, I'm doing that. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? And, like, and I swear that's how it is. Yeah, like, like I mean, that's AD. Like, like you know, I'm pretty <laughs> sure some people get told like you got to play off at whatever he does. Oh yeah, yeah. Because like they right. can call some AD will go the complete opposite way that yeah. you got to play off him. But I'll never forget like my first couple years over in Atlanta. They're like, yo, you're behind this player. I'm not gonna say who he is. You're behind this player. Like you fit off of him. If the place has to go this way, he goes that way, then you better fix it. Right. And it's one of the things where it's like, yeah, all right, coach. Okay. Like, what am I going to say? Like, all right, because coach. The, because the crazy part is, like, Aaron Donald's the only person, I can't say only person, but the only person I've seen in person that can be First so time. far behind the play. Like, he'll yeah. beat you off the ball, but he's going the wrong way. 
and he'll still catch still go make that and play. make the play in the backfield. Still make the play. Bro. Like, he's just like, different, man. Like, I got to give a shout out to my boy Grady Jarrett, man. My boy Grady, like, he, he is, like that. My boy, is, Grady. my boy Grady is that player. Like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm behind Grady. I'm like, look, bro, you do you, I'll fix it. Nah, <laughs> like, he like that. Because eight out of ten times, he's going to make that play. Yeah. And so, like, I just, like, but I think I'm, I'm asking for, like, a leadership point of view. Like, do you guys, because I know for us, offense is kind of over here. Defense is over there. Like, you know, everyone says, like, you know, football, when you get to the NFL, you understand, like, offense is there. Defense is here. Yeah. You know, right. you got your guys. They got their guys. But, like, does AD talk to the group or is it, like, more, like, over there? He um, he kind of, like, the quiet type, you know. Oh, okay. Like, he not finna do all that rah-rah. He yeah. just finna get out there and show and, you. And play, yeah. yeah. And then, like, he'll. Well, he's proven at this point. Right. And it's, like, he'll, I think he'll really only talk, like, when you kind of talk, come at him crazy, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Which his, his play, but I, I can't, I can't lie. His play will make you mad. His play will make you want to say something to him. Like, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I'm sick of this dude, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's that good, fam. Like, bro, he, he he's one of those. I mean, just looking outside, looking at him, bro. He's one of those players that you're like, man, like this dude is fucking. He's 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 him. Yeah. That's like, that's Ooh, I mean, I, I mean, I feel him. like like even like, and I know that the whole roster ain't the same as it once was, right? For the for the Rams, but like that Super Bowl year, like you guys had you just had a squad, bro. Yeah, we had a, we had a squad. squad. Yeah. I mean, I and, and, and they and it's it's known like Bobby, you got put in a great situation. You executed shit. You got a fucking fat ring because of it. Like congratulations. Uh, but yeah, man, that, that's and, and, and like but like out. they they wait. <laughs> there were some dudes and they said, hey, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna fuck around. And uh, win Super Bowl this year. We're gonna go all in, and they did it. And yeah. it's, I mean, I mean, that's such a gamble. And I've heard great stories about Sean McVay, and like, he is, he's him, whatever you want to call it. But like, <laughs> that that feeling. And I know we just talked about the confetti, but like, I feel like those initial hugs inside the locker room that anyone could see. I, was there beer showers? Is it just emotions, bro? Like, it's, did you get the goggles? Like, what happened? Like, oh yeah, I had the goggles. It, for sure. I had the goggles ready yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, ready. What, the what are they cigars. spraying? What are they spraying? Champagne. 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 But one kind, bro. It don't matter. It really, really don't matter. Shit. <laughs> At that point, <laughs> is, is there, is there just bottles, like cigars, this. goggles? Like, how's that work? You still got your goggles? Yeah, I still, I, I still got That's mine. So lit, bro. I had to keep them. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just keep these for the memory. They just hand them out like, yo. Hey, yeah, luckily, luckily you had to like kind of find them a little bit. Oh, okay. Like, luckily, I Scavenger found them here before they kind of ran out. Right. So I, I held on to mine. I made sure they weren't going nowhere. I put them around my neck and everything. Right. Like, yeah. I wore them to the parade. I knew they weren't going nowhere. Yeah, like, oh. So being as young as you are on the league, <clears throat> and already having that, I, I mean, one of the pinnacles of football experiences. What's next? Yeah. For me, so. So for me, personally, all my life, I played in big games like that. And, you know, in the Super Bowl, I was on field goal, you feel me? But I wasn't on the field as an old lineman in the block, you know? So I think that's what I'm missing. Yeah, you want to be you want to like, be the dude out there. You want, you want yeah, to be the right it ain't even, it ain't even about the attention. It's about it's you versus the you. playing. Like, I want to yeah. play in it. Like, I yeah, want to yeah. be in there. Like, I was, I was there. I was part of it. But the emotions didn't hit the same. Yeah, because oh. like, because even going back to little league, played in all them championship games. Right, middle school, all them games. High school, I won three state championships. Humble brag, but like, ah, you know, I'm like, kidding, Bobby. Yeah, yes. no, I get you. But I mean, the only reason I missed my my senior year um, so, uh, state game was because I tore my ACL earlier. You were you, you were a freshman of varsity. Nah, no, it's uh, a sophomore year. Yeah, oh, sophomore, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, junior, sorry. and then senior. But and then college, all those conference games and then playoff games, trying to right. get a natty. I was in them games, right? So them emotions hit way different than like me just like I was like I was part of the team, but I wasn't like yeah on the field. We have we have a, we have a couple of players who just feel the same type of way. Like, I get it. I like, get that. Like don't get me wrong, it's a blessing. It was definitely like an experience. My no one like, can ever take that away from you. No, bro. ever. Exactly. And like my family got to experience so much while they was out there right. just because of. Me being a part of that the situation, team, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and that's what's important to me. But at the same time, I wanted to be out there playing, you know, putting, yeah. on, putting on for my people. In of the course, stand. and I think, and if I can get something like that, or even get there while playing, you know, even if even if I lose it, it's like okay, I still got a ring. But like at the same time, I got to be out there this time, right? right? Yeah, and so that's all I feel like I'm really missing. Damn. Can't say it better than that. Damn. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to get to play. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, you got that dog in you, bro. No, nah, I mean, people like, 
And that's the mental side of things. Like yeah. that that mental toughness. That shit can get tough for real. And like there's ups and downs, just dealing with all kinds of shit with this game. But at the end of the day, you gotta look at the bigger picture. You taking care of your people and all that shit. That's what's important. Shit, hell yeah. I mean, just I mean, like I said, we've been training together for two years now. I mean, I know that's my guy, Bobby. I know he be he's a dog. I've been said that I was excited for to come on last time. Right. Um, just in closing right here, like so what's next? I mean, I know you're rehabbing right now, getting ready to go, free agency. So what's going through your mindset right now? Wrapping um, around? shit, just get this leg right, get this knee right, get my mm-hmm. strength back, and just be prepared for anything and just go out there and prove myself. That's all. I just need a chance to go prove myself. That's it. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. Bobby, I appreciate you coming on Bring the Juice. I respect the shout out of you. Feed the family. We're going to make sure. Yeah. You got your own like social media for that or is that just connected yeah, with do. you? Yeah, I do. We'll make sure to follow Feed the Family. We're going to tag you guys in a bunch of shit. Are those hats for sale? Those are swaggy as yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, we might yeah, do a yeah, jersey yeah, swap yeah, on that yeah, shit. Yeah, I like I that. You, I Check it out. Follow Bobby. Feed the family. See his journey. Super Bowl champ, bro. Yep. Super Can't Bowl champ. Bad. No, we're going to take shit away from that, bro. Hey, appreciate y'all. Subscribe to Bring the Juice. Buy some merch. We'll see you next week.